Hi, good evening all. I am Adhiman. Welcomes you to the Cucumber presentation for parallel automation. I, founder director at QA Cult, is having experience of working in various companies as test automation framework architect. QA Cult, it is all about sharing your knowledge. We excel in guiding academic professionals uh, about various software requirements and tools and methodologies required for design, verification, validation, and configuration management in software quality. We have ex expertise in grooming pupil and showing them the roadmap to the corporate world. Till now, our faculty members have trained 200 plus students who are successfully employed with software companies. Today in this presentation, we are going to cover BDD methodology and then Cucumber parallel with Maven and Selenium Grid and Forked processes. All this will be shown with a live example and practically on Eclipse IDE. So the QACult courses, I will like to discuss you and tell you about the QACult courses. We have courses for uh, experienced professionals as well as for freshers. You can uh, look for MTA course certified with the certified one and also fresher courses in our website. Now let's go to Eclipse ID and let's tell you about the project for the Cucumber Parallel Automation. This is the project which I have designed for Cucumber Parallel Automation. You can see I have four Cucumber scenarios uh, and I have opened this create delete bookmark dot feature in Chrome browser and this feature uh, using data tables in Firefox browser and these two features will work tandemly in tandemly in both the browsers and assisting them are the step definitions uh, uh, for all these four features I will explain you a little bit about it that now from the feature file I am passing the Chrome browser and the node port where I have to open it. Of, of course the node port is the uh, uh, node port is used for working with Selenium Grid. Now I have used this the given start browser Firefox or node port this uh, for uh, uh, opening the browser this is the method which opens the browser uh, it set instance and the instance it set is the remote web driver with all the capabilities and the browser which are which is coming from the feature file and then we are also setting the port here uh, with the help of uh, with the help of selenium grid now let, let let me show you the pom.xml the pom.xml so here what it is in the pom.xml here I have described my properties which will be used in the maven compiler plugin the source will be Java 1.8 and the target will be Java 1.8. Then from the Cucumber uh, info.cukes package, I have uh, I have used Cucumber JUnit jar and Cucumber Java jar and then Cucumber core jar and Cucumber JVM taps. I have also given the uh, Selenium jar from the Selenium package right and here it is my uh, uh, um, mk uh, mk or lensk 
lens cucumber report chart uh, now this is the main plugin which i am using for the parallel automation of the cucumber features this is a time uh, timers plugin in uh, which i uh, uh, which they have hosted on github here i am giving the glue which is com dot step definition and then i am also giving the features file in directory which is src test resources feature and then i am uh, telling you that the uh, uh, that the output directory where the classes and the reports will be generated will be in the target cucumber parallel then i am telling them that you have to create the reports in json format as well as in html format and then the tags which i have mentioned and uh, uh, for the both the uh, uh, features uh, using examples table and this is using data table and now uh, there is a maven surefire plugin which will generate the test channels at runtime and uh, and execute your features uh, 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 parallelly right now telling you about selenium grid the selenium grid is all about creating the nodes and the hub the hub is like a server which can be placed on your computer or uh, i am executing this command for running a hub so i have executed the hub here now i am creating a node with this command so i have opened uh, the node at port tetra, uh, pent tetra 5 now the third command so that i also want to open a node on port trip triple 5 6 this is the command i will copy it and then i will open the new command prompt and paste it and now the triple five six node is also ready to use so you can see here that both the nodes are there and registered to the hub at port uh, uh, tetra four you i also wanted to show you from the ui you can also navigate to the browser yeah at port 4444 and then going to console we can see that there are two nodes which are, uh, have have been configured at tetra 5 and triple 56 yeah this was the uh, uh, this was the configuration of uh, of grid for opening now i close this uh, grid processes because i have automated them and just want to show you that this is the windows cmd utility which i have placed in com dot utilities in the package here i have created here i have created the process using runtime in class of java and uh, i have opened the command prompt and uh, and executed this command for hub and then for the node so uh, running this file will open the command prompt and execute this
so it is opening the command prompt it is opening a new command prompt so you can see that both the nodes are registered to the hub now now I will like to show you the execution from the pom.xml so when I will run this pom uh, in the browser in the Eclipse IDE sorry you can see that both the tests are running parallelly so one test has opened the Firefox browser and other has opened a Chrome browser and you can see that execution is going on continuously in in in, in the command prompt so it will create and delete the bookmark and then log out from the application and then the second row of the examples table is getting executed where it is again logging in and creating a bookmark and then deleting a bookmark and then logging out this one has completed and now the second one where it is still deleting the bookmarks so after deleting it has logged out and completed the scenario here you can see that build is a success and you can also see that one scenario has passed from the chrome application and two scenarios has passed on the uh, on the firefox so this was it so you can uh, i have verified that the parallel execution can be done using the tamires plugin and of the uh, in cucumber thanks for the listening and 